The United States is on track to hit another disturbing milestone in this pandemic. Nearly 4 million Americans have now tested positive for the virus. And those are just the official numbers. Experts say there are likely many more undetected cases. And in a sign of how this pandemic is progressing, California now has surpassed New York as the state with the most confirmed cases. More than 413,000 people there have tested positive. After months of downplaying the crisis, President Donald Trump now admits it will get worse before it gets better. Jackson Prosco reports. In Hidalgo County, Texas, hospitals, morgues and funeral homes are at the breaking point. We normally do about maybe six to ten funerals a month, and, and right now we're doing almost ten a week. Out of desperation, local officials issued a stay-at-home order. The state of Texas blocked them from enforcing it. Unfortunately, you know, our hospital rooms look like war zones. In California, a new daily record with nearly 13,000 new cases reported in just 24 hours. The U.S. military has sent teams to strained hospitals. As the virus surges in more and more new places, the lack of a coordinated national strategy has left a patchwork of responses and requirements. New York expanded its quarantine to travelers from 31 states, including Maryland, where officials in Baltimore ordered restaurants and bars to close their doors after a sudden increase in cases. What we really need is a national mandate from the top to indicate what we need to be doing to protect one another. It will probably, unfortunately, get worse before it gets better. Tuesday's frank admission from President Donald Trump does not change the fact that the virus is still running rampant. The virus will disappear. It will disappear. States continue to grapple with testing shortages and climbing rates of death and hospitalization. The top infectious disease expert in the U.S. issued a blunt warning that it may not be enough. But I think we ultimately will get control of it. I don't really see us eradicating it. But with many states refusing to roll back their reopenings while pushing ahead with plans to get kids back into the classroom in just a few weeks, there seems to be few options left for bringing the virus under control. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.